What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what we're going to be doing is hopping in and playing some more head-to-head -head seasons games here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. So guys, let's hop into it. I'm, I've currently got a 3-0 record. I'm looking to make it 4-0 here in my first season here. In our last game, as you guys saw, we did win the game 10-3. I've got some serious improvements to my team now. I am an 86 overall. I've got a few elite cars to play with. So we're definitely going to be in a better situation going forward into these games. I'm feeling fairly confident as far as my players go. Now it just comes down to whether or not I have the skills. And that's the thing that I'm really doubting, to be honest with you guys. I've still got to make major improvements, major strides in my game if I want to be at all competitive in the higher levels. But we're still in the rookie division here. So I think that I think I should probably be able to be better than most of these people. Uh, but we'll see how it ends up going anyway. Let's hop in here and start the search and we'll see what we can find here for an opponent. All right, guys. So let's take a look quickly at his lineup here. We've got Matt Ryan at quarterback for me. We've got Alex Smith, Shane Vereen, Parkey, Baldwin. Not much here. Not much here at all. I'm feeling pretty good about this, to be honest with you. My team definitely matches up favorably here. JJ Watt. That is an old JJ Watt. That's like the ultimate thing that they give you for... Uh, like each week, I forget what it's even called right now at the moment. Oh, there's his Khalil Mack. I have no idea where my Khalil Mack went, by the way. I don't know what I did with it. I cannot find it on my team. Not that it would start anyway, but I have no idea where the hell it is. So you can see there that we are definitely stacked uh, up against a team that is not very good. So this should be an easier game for me than some of the others. We'll see though. And oh, we just couldn't get that block. Oh, second and eight. We're going to try and run this ball again. Get out there. Get out there. Damn it. Wow, that, that heat-seeking tackle is so ridiculous. So this guy has definitely played well to start stopping the run, but we'll see if we can get anything going in the passing game here. Big pass there to Jordan Cameron, and we pick up the first down, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So we've been smashing him with a little bit of strong power to start things off. Well, we haven't really been smashing him, but we've been trying to run. So I'm going to try and actually go play action here and see what we can do. Get it. There you go, Jordan Cameron. Big play. Big play. Another huge first down there to our elite tight end, Jordan Cameron. And we are in good shape now. This is going to be the wide receiver screen here. Sammy Watkins should be the target, unless things go horribly wrong. Nope, looking good. And we've got a first down. Oh, he's got, he got hit. A shoestring tackle. Are you kidding me? That should have been a huge gain. But we still pick up nine, so I'm happy with that. Third and one, we're going to try and run here. Hopefully right up the middle if we can pick it up. And it looks like we are. Okay. Hit him, Eddie Lacy. Oh, what a beast. I almost didn't pick that up. I would have probably raged because I'm so sick of his guys just filling the gap and stopping my run. First and goal to go here. And we're going to try and run again here. And it looks like we are going to get into the end zone on the first drive. Gio Bernard steps into the end zone. Gives him a little celebration there. And we are up 6 to nothing. Going to be 7 to nothing here after this extra point. First play on defense now. And he's going to come out in a three-wide set, which usually means that these guys are going to pass. Uh, but he might decide to run here with a draw play here. So I'm going to keep my guy paying attention to that. Yep, he's going to pass. And he's going to take the sack. Who is that? Thomas Davis steps through and gets the sack on him. And that's a huge way for us to start this game. I'm absolutely going to keep bringing the blitz on this guy because I don't think that he's going to be ready for it. And he's going to try and... Oh, I almost intercepted that with my D end. I, I figured he would try and go play action there. And that's why I brought the blitz because I want my guys to get to the quarterback. I committed on the pass there. And uh, we got decent pass rush and forced him to make an ill-advised throw that probably could have been an interception. We're expecting the pass here on third and long. See what he goes for here. And it is going to be a pass. And, he, oh, he went right up the middle, right at my guy. I thought for sure he was going to try and throw that thing uh, over the middle to uh, another receiver there. But that's all right. I'm going to actually drop this guy into coverage here. Yep. 
Yup. Get the sack on him on fourth down. That's why you don't go for it. Thomas Davis, baby. He ain't gonna be running around with Joe Flacco. You can't be doing that, son. And this could be the rage quit already. Very well could be. We'll see. Yup, there it is, guys. The rage quit already. We score on our first drive. We stop him on the second drive. And that is pretty much gonna wrap things up for him. He is not gonna walk away with a W in this one. These guys come in here and they all the time, they try and go for it on fourth down and I don't understand why. There was no reason for him to go for it on fourth down. He was doing decent on defense. Yeah, I was able to hit him with a couple passes to Jordan Cameron and I eventually scored a touchdown on the first drive. But that doesn't mean you need to go into panic mode. You do not need to panic just because you're down one score in this game, guys. So hopefully you take that advice out of this game. You can certainly come back from one score. All you need is one decent defensive play to turn things around or, you know, milk the clock as you score a touchdown or something to just make it closer. And uh, that would have changed the game dramatically for him. So sucks for him that he's going to walk away with an L here. But I am happy to have the win. I am now 4-0 on the season, feeling very, very happy about it. Hopefully the next game, guys, is a little bit longer, a little bit more exciting, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, and also be sure to press subscribe if you're new to the channel, because that's how we grow this thing, and that's how we get all this good information, fun gameplay out to people. So if you guys would help me grow my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm already indebted to you for your subscriptions that you've made, but uh, if you guys would share it, I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.